Kicking off with football, interim reggae boys head coach Paul Hall says the adverse weather conditions, as well as limited exposure of local players, contributed to the reggae boys 4-0 thumping by Canada in their penultimate World Cup qualifier in Toronto on Sunday. The boys returned to the island earlier on Monday. Jerome Foster reports. The reggae boys were not at the races on Sunday as the Canadians looked heads and shoulders above the visitors in freezing conditions at the BMO field in Toronto and won on a cant of 4-0 to secure World Cup qualification. The temperatures dropped to minus 4 degrees with several weather apps suggesting the conditions felt like minus 14. Even as interim head coach Paul Hall accepted the gulf in quality between the teams, he says it was tough on a team that had five locally based players starting the game. That was the first time that some of them have been out in the cold weather. So uh, I was really proud of them for turning up and making a game of it for most part of the game. I thought that the young boys stepping in was a massive plus for the federation, for the program and for young players in Jamaica. In the midst of the Jamaican turmoil, Canada are on their way to the World Cup for the first time in 36 years. And it's a blueprint that Hall plans to follow. They've had a long-term project and it's come to fruition. And ever since I've taken this job, I've, all I've been speaking about is let's have a long-term project that we can consistently not only qualify once, but consistently get all our age groups qualifying. And, and it comes with programs and it comes with investment and starting with the, uh, with the grassroots and starting with the, the national team playing a certain brand of football. And over the last few games, we've started to play that brand of football, of which I'm proud of. 17-year-old debutant Tyreek Zimenez was a half-time substitute. Well, it was difficult sitting on the bench, you know, in that kind of weather for me. You know, because as I said, I'm not used to the atmosphere. Adrian Mariapa, who has spent the majority of his time playing in England, says it was his first time playing in such conditions, but noted it's good for the younger players. Yeah, you know, for them, you know, it's a great learning experience for them, obviously, to, to play, you know, in a packed stadium, um, you know, where it's, you know, really against you, you can feel it. And like I said, the, the conditions were really tough, so a uh, bit of a baptism, baptism of fire, but... Um, but there you go, you know, they're great experiences and, uh, you know, it's the best way to learn. With all the downs since his appointment, Hall wants to finish on the upcoming Wednesday when the boys honour the final fixture against Honduras at the National Stadium. I want us to perform and I want us to make sure that we, we, we dictate the game like we did against El Salvador, but this time just finish things off and be clinical. The match against the Central Americans kicks off at 8.05pm. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.